So you guys, it's Glamour Zante. What's goody, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. I wanted to come on here bare face. Just starting off, I don't know why. I normally don't come on here bare face, but I wanted to come on here bare face and just show y'all my skin or whatever, you know, my brows and stuff. And actually, this is my hair growth. Let me know if you guys want a hair growth updated journey from me because I'm actually gonna consider doing that. And yeah. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we're always at a million. And also follow my store page, Shop Lemazante as well. Oh my God. My look today is gonna give, it's gonna give looks. Hey babies, what's goody bitch? What's up? Y'all know, I've been pushing. Y'all need to go ahead and give me a freaking thumbs up and a comment, baby, because I have honestly been OZing with the content. I've been coming with the looks. I've been giving y'all vibes and energy. And honestly, I know y'all appreciate it. So I feel like, can I get a thumbs up and a comment, please? And also, y'all, make sure y'all turn on y'all post notifications because a lot of people have been telling me that they are not receiving their freaking um, notifications on when I post videos. And I think it's because their post notifications is not one. So I don't know what's the whole thing about the post notifications. This mirror is way better. I don't know what the whole thing is about the post notification, but make sure y'all turn y'all on for me. Um, the little bell because that'll help y'all to know when I post a video and you can be the first to post you can be the first to comment or like or whatever you know support your girl help your girl out and it's crazy because I'm literally almost at a million so <laughs> content out I'm doing what I gotta do okay period and that's one period but yeah make sure y'all turn y'all post notifications on but I'm going on beast mode as I hit this million because honestly I feel like I've been waiting around too long I've been playing too many freaking games and honestly I'm like girl we we here now like it's it's time for you to turn it up a notch so i'm here to turn this shit up i'm here to turn it up i'm here to amp up on them okay i'm here to do that so if y'all was doubting me sis you better keep on because honestly you're gonna regret it i've been doing so much better i know everybody wanted to know how are you doing since the breakup or how are you doing since everything that's been going on oh my god I didn't even know y'all broke up this that and this that I've been getting a series of bunch of questions. And honestly, I feel like I'm doing amazing. I feel like at one point I was like, really like, oh my God. But I feel like one thing I can say is versus me having my breakups from when I was younger, this is like way different. I feel like this breakup, I understood that, you know, I'm older, people change, things change, dynamics change, and you just have to, um, go with it i feel like before my problem was that i literally would try to stop the breakup like if i seen a breakup coming i would try to stop it instead of letting it go out and do its thing and you know just be like you know man this person is over one thing about me is i don't like feeling like a failure so i always would try to literally fix let me let this plane go by and i feel like this time i did not try to stop it like, if anything, I'm the one that freaking walked away. <laughs> it would be 100%. So, I feel like, you know, to me, to each his own. I'm not mad at her. I don't have no bad blood or animosity. I really don't. It's just one of the things where I'm, you know, I feel like it actually taught me a lot about myself. And I feel like with me, I understood that for a long time, I've literally built my happiness and dependence off of other people and how they make me feel like for example like if i'm in a relationship i'm so happy because i feel like somebody's loving me or they're making me feel good and then if literally we break up i feel like you know it's the end all be all i don't know how to deal with it so i think that you know that was something that i had to understand about my personal self and i realized like i have to love myself i have to be happy with being by myself I have to be content with being alone. And that's something like, I feel like when I had my last breakup, I anticipated on me and that person getting back together. So I never was fully single because my mindset was always, I'm gonna get back in a relationship with that person or I'm gonna always this, that, and this. That. I'm talking about the first breakup, like with another person. And I feel like with this time, I just understood like, I balance a lot of my, I base a lot of my happiness off of other people in my relationship. So I have been taking time to myself to make myself happy, make myself feel good. And that way, if I'm in a relationship, that happiness is just an extra add on. 
if me and that relationship ends, it's like it's no big deal. It's like whatever. Like you know, it's a big deal because I love you and this, that, and this, that. But it's not my my happiness doesn't stop. So you know, I had to figure it out by myself. I'm working on making myself more happier. I feel like if you haven't done that, I feel like it's something to really look into. Because I feel like you know, I hang out with my friends more. I go to the park more. Um, I read like. Girl, I don't read shit like that now. I'm reading, like, blogs and stuff. But I'm, like, reading a little bit more, you know? I feel like that I'm talking to my family more. I'm literally, um, you know, purchasing stuff and doing stuff for myself and buying it more, buying things more. I feel like I'm just, like, kind of, like, doing things that I want to do. <clears throat> and that was things i never done before. I'm trying to make sure my brows is, like, even. Because I noticed, like, when I sit, I have a natural slant. Like, my natural lean is, like, if nobody noticed this, I don't know if I noticed it. But, honestly, I want to be, like, this, you know? But, yeah, I feel like, you know, that's what I've been working on. And it's going great right now. It actually, it's not going that bad. Um, It's crazy because a lot of females be trying to talk to me, though. A lot of females, like, a lot of studs be sliding my DM or these gay parties I be going to. A lot of girls... They be really trying to get at me, and I really be like, eh, 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 eh. if you just don't, if you want to be a friend, okay, you can be my friend. But if you trying to love on me, please don't, cause I don't have no love to give back. I'm trying to love myself right now. I'm trying to be myself, and I'm, honestly, and it's crazy because when I tell females that, girls be liking that. <laughs> they really do be liking that. I be like, damn. Girls be like liking the fact that you be getting in tune with yourself and figuring out who you are like they really really like that i don't know if it's because it's like damn that's attractive sorry i'm looking at my palettes but i don't know if they're like damn that's attractive because you like getting in tune with yourself or if it's one of them things where they're just like whoa like baby bought her stuff like girl i promise to you them hoes they don't care they like when you're in tune with yourself i want to go in with my little concealed over here and concealed is like really like a thick like creamy base and I kind of want to put that on my lid that way when I go ahead and put the nude color on top it actually can take well so that's kind of what I'm doing right now Can you guys see see how it's like thicker it's really really actually good and I like that it comes in this palette so but yeah so that's what I've been doing honestly Working on my self-happiness. Working on being okay with being by myself. Working on just being a better me. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up. Because you know how you say you're going to keep something up and then you kind of fall off from doing it. But I really feel like I've been doing good. And also, I, like I said, I've been working out. I was trying to lose 15 pounds. I know you're probably like, bitch, where? I was 164, 165 around that. I would stay around there. And honestly, I lost five pounds. Y'all see that? Hmm. I told you, I'm getting good at this makeup stuff. Y'all see, I've been trying like new looks and stuff. I ain't no guru now, but I'm doing a lot damn better than I was before. Yes, look at me. Give it, look at me giving y'all makeup. Y'all know we don't be doing makeup over here when we started, but girl, I be getting into these looks though, because I be liking to serve a little. You know, serve the girls a little bit. Okay. What y'all think it would look like if I put dark in the corners going to the light? Or y'all think I should just keep it with the light going to the dark? That might be a vibe, though. Honey, I think I just did me a little cut crease action. A little something. Just teeny. Okay, so now I'm about to move on to my foundation. And honestly, this should be snazzy and quick because y'all know that... Literally, this should be quick and easy because y'all know, y'all know this routine. And I want to show y'all this makeup. So this company sent me this. I'm not even really familiar on what the company actually is, but this company called Bliss. They sent me this box. I'm like, oh my God, what is this? And inside of it, it is a freaking makeup wipes, but it's for pride because you guys know it recently was just pride month. So I'm like, oh my God, so for a good cause, it says building on partnerships the, with the Trevor Project, the world's largest LGBTQ 
suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization and bliss will donate 100 percent of its net proceeds to that organization so here's the makeup wipes the limited edition makeup wipes the pride ones okay and notice this is sponsored they literally just sent it to me in the mail and i seen it. i was like oh my god so i was like yes honey so you know i'm gonna wipe my hands off and clean up my area. Y'all know I really don't talk about stuff that goes on in the world. I don't know why, but I just feel like it don't be my damn business. <laughs> so first off first, how about, okay, so let's first off first. Y'all, I know y'all seen the interview with August. If y'all didn't see the interview, I should link it below because honestly, if you haven't seen it, it's a must see. So basically August I've seen, if y'all didn't know, he basically goes around on this interview and y'all know him and Jada Pinkett used to be like damn near besties so i'm just like okay like something's off about this but maybe she like his mentor or whatever so i'm like you know i ain't tripping it ain't none of my business whatever but y'all know i live in hollywood so i'll be kind of knowing some behind the scenes tea not on them but just like other stuff so i just to me i was just like okay like yeah all right something given with this you know what i'm saying so it looked like i kicked the hell out of this but i really didn't so <laughs> bear with me so the whole thing is y'all know that august and jada pinkett freaking was hanging out like doing everything, going places together, taking pictures, all this kind of stuff. So I'm like, okay. And he just said he looked up, but looked out, he looked up to them as a family, this, that, and this, that. So then August comes out with his whole song. And the song on the little video thing, it said Corian or Corin. And everybody know that's Jada Pinkett middle name. So it was like, he was texting her. I don't remember what the text messages said. I just remember what the name was and i'm like that's an odd unique name so you know everything with being in the industry is strategic and i feel like with him like come on now like you using that name that's her middle name y'all that close like we're gonna automatically assume but everybody put they dated the rumors out they dated the rumors out and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> like what the hell is this so then um recently you haven't heard nothing about them and then recently august alcina goes on to a damn interview angela yee on youtube and it's about promoting his new album and he has her interview him but they post on his platform but let's just be honest i feel like at the end of the day he knew what the questions was going to be asked and those are the questions he wanted to be asked i mean let's just be honest that's like me having champagne interview me on my channel like i know what champagne gonna ask me because we on my stuff you know and he comes out and says that him and jada literally um have been in love hold up bitch let me get my stuff because i gotta talk i gotta talk about this so he comes out with the whole thing of saying that him and jada been in love and he was dating her and he gave himself to her and he would be content with no longer being in love with anybody else because he gave that much of himself to her and that, you know, he got Will Smith's blessing to date her. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, um, all right. And, you know, I feel like when I heard it, I was like shocked. And then I low key was like, hold up, bitch. I ain't even shocked about this because honestly, if anybody know, we all been knew that Will Smith, Jada Pinkett was swinging. If y'all didn't know, I been knew that. They swing. And pretty much the what I'm grabbing from it is that Will and Jada have this, um, I forgot where I heard this from and I forgot where I seen it, but it was like basically Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, they love each other. They've been in love with each other for a very long time. I feel like I was watching this on the fucking Red Table Talk. Let me stop. I was watching it on the Red, on the red Table Talk one episode when she had Will up there. And basically, it was one of the things where they have now committed themselves to being life partners. So what that means is that regardless of what the situation or what happens, them two are always going to be together. Like, they're always going to make it work. Always going to be together. Like, regardless if he lets her date other people, let she lets him date other people, if she, they let each other have sex with other people, like, whatever it is, they have committed themselves to being life partners, which means they always and forever will be partners. So, it's like, basically, if I ever wanted to date Jada Pinkett, I never could just 
I could pro I could date Jada Pinkett separately from Will Smith, but it would never be one of those things where I fully, completely have Jada to myself. She will always belong and give have a piece of her that belongs to Will Smith. That's what I. That's kind of where I got from the whole thing. I knew this because I don't know if y'all know I'm from Maryland, and honestly, Maryland T. I used to go to this club called a Paradox. Girl, they might get my video taken down for this. I was like, that's why did my makeup look so white? It's giving Caucasian. The Paradox, when I was talking about that, and y'all don't know, it's like a gay club. The Paradox is a, a gay club. They used to have pictures of Jada ass in there. I always used to see a bunch of shit up in there. Like, and I ain't even on no T page type shit, because y'all know I don't be doing that. But I'm just being factual. And I always felt like Will Smith was a little. Maybe I'm tripping. And I feel like, to me, I feel like they have an understanding of what the fuck they is. And I feel like they also understand that they have kids. And I feel like they understand that at the end of the day, they still love each other. So it wasn't that damn far-fetched for me to actually know the whole situation, to be into the situation of that this is going on. And like he said, he said he got the blessing of will. So I'm like, for one, where is the fucking NDA? But then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, shit, I was fucking this young man and was not even thinking about making him sign no shit like that. Because, I mean, honestly, they done went this fucking long and ain't nobody done told I feel like I understand it because I have somebody in my life that I love. And I feel like regardless of what happens or what the situation between us may play out, like I always want that person to be able to be in my life. And not just as a friend, but I want that person to be on that deeper connection level and i understand that we might not be able to be only each other's partner because you think about it like do you understand i mean it is possible i understand it but i feel like to me if you're being logical like if you are dating somebody and you love them and you're having sex with them and this that and this that yes i believe you can love them but after a while that's why people do threesomes. Some people end up cheating. Now, I is watering. I always do this. But it's like you love that person. But you are open to the fact that that person could possibly find other people attractive. Like that's just, that's just human nature. And I feel like with me, I'm always in relationships. And I'm like I said, I'm on this spiritual journey. And I'm on this soul search to figure out who I am and why I do certain things I do and I feel like one thing that I realized is like I like to talk to people I like to love people and I feel like it makes sense what they do like I think if I was able to be in a relationship with somebody that could be that open that that's just what the fuck I would do like I would talk to I would have my partner and that person would always be the person that comes first in my life. If they need me, I'm there and all this other stuff. But I would allow them to be able to date others just like I would be able to date others. Like, I think that would be something I would be into. It's not for everybody. But I feel like I'm very open. And I've been in relationships where it's just like... I'm dating somebody. I'm enjoying this person. But it's like, why not enjoy... And that doesn't even mean like threesome type stuff. I'm talking about I could be my separate thing and they could do their separate thing. I don't know. I know a lot of people, every time I talk about something like this in the comments, it goes fucking nuts. But I feel like, like I said, it's not for everybody. But I feel like to me, I'm young. I only live once. What's the, what's the problem with me wanting to talk to a person and talk to other people too? But like I said, if I ever had that type of experience, y'all be the first to know. Because y'all know I don't really hold my tongue with telling y'all shit. I will tell y'all. But I feel like... I don't know. I feel like so many people, they, some people do not really fool with that. Which is understandable. But I feel like personally with me, I'm not really against it. But... I be serious about that kind of stuff. And I know a lot of people like, that's a recipe for disaster. Shit, it might be. But I feel like if you get the right group i don't really think it will be but you have to have the right amount of people you have to have the right people and you have to have everybody on the same page but that's another situation that's another situation for another time because like i said i know how y'all be in them comments 
Y'all be going a little crazy talking about this. Y'all don't be with that. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix this, clean this up. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, what do y'all think? I know majority of y'all gonna be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. I feel like you only live once, girl. Live your best life. I'm putting these um, glue on my lashes. You only live once, girl. Live your life. Like, can't anybody be out here telling you what to do? This my life to live and ain't nobody else living it. And that's on period. I feel like also, like a lot of my subbies, which is crazy, I don't think a lot of y'all are like gay. <laughs> and I feel like with being gay, I'm just so much more open. Like, give or take, not all gay people are open. But I do feel like a lot more gay people are open to like the three-way things. The three-way things. Y'all straight hoes, y'all just like to do a little nasty um, threesome. But y'all don't really want to intertwine. Let me stop. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to come back with my final look. Okay. Yes, and let me show y'all my hair real quick. Girl, look at this, get into this growth. My hair is growing, but honestly, it's crazy because when I wear these individual plaits, my hair grows so much more. But I'm about to put that baby on my motherfucking head. Okay, guys, so I literally just put my wig down, as you guys can tell. I'm still working on like this part of it because it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin, and that's because of the motherfucking, um, I think I got a little bit darker, and honestly, I ain't got no colors over here to blend it because I ain't got nothing darker right now. But it look decent. It don't look crazy. Like, in actual real life, it looks really good. I feel like it's showing up worse on camera. But either way, I ain't that worried about it because she still look good as well. Okay? Okay. Go on, mold up here. Y'all know that's my real mold. These other ones are fake. And there we go. I'm pretty much done. This is pretty much my look. My lip combo is nothing but a brown liner. And I'm using MAC. I'm using, what is it? MAC Snob. I always use this. And I use this Revlon Sky Pink. This is my favorite lippy. I already got a little bit of the, um, the Snob one, but you don't need too much. So this ended up being my final look. If you guys are interested in getting this hair, and seeing how it installed it, check the video below because I will have it linked. But we had a very, very good discussion today. I enjoyed you gals, okay? I enjoyed y'all. Y'all was dope or whatever. Y'all was cool. <laughs> but right now, I'm about to go to like this little kickback um, type of pool party vibe. <laughs> and don't forget, like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow my store page on Instagram, Shop Glamazante. Do not forget to put your post notifications on. Thumbs this video up. Make sure that you leave a bitch a comment. Because, you know, I'm looking fly or whatever. I'm giving real cute or whatever. Period. And that's all. So cute. I love when I'm feeling myself, bitch. No. Nope.